Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, Wonderly, and welcome back to some more Grey Dawn. Yeah, so we're going to be trying like an hour of playtime through this series now. Because it seems like it's going to be a lot longer than I thought it was. At first I thought it was just going to be like a little short horror game. But now nah, it turns out it's a little bit longer. Still can't go in there. I've been enjoying myself with this game. Just haven't really played too much. Just been... Very busy like always. <laughs> That's always my excuse coming back, just being very busy. You're still here, buddy? Okay. <laughs> Alright, dude. Yeah, all these doors just start closing every time I reopen this game. Oh, this is open now. Okay. We're outside. This is the first snow I've seen in years. It makes me feel oddly comfortable. Yeah, you're not gonna get me trying to get me comfortable and shit just to jump scare me. <laughs> it's not. That's not how this is gonna work. I also decided to bring back green screen, just because it it was a lot easier to do. For a while, I did the bow box cam thing, mostly just because I liked more dim lights. Especially when I'm playing horror games. Black Tower Church? Is that what that says? Oh, Black Tower Church. That's... Okay, that was blocked by that. A little metal rail thing. And nothing to do with that. So I'm guessing we're going down the road. I get a glance this, at anything staring at this me. This isn't snow. What is this? Oh no, is this isn't snow. The guess is ashes then. It's <laughs> really like do you have a volcano? <laughs> oh god. No. Volcanic ash. Okay, yeah, <laughs> just have a volcano just chilling out here, okay. I'm pretty sure Hellfire is supposed to be raining down from here. That can't tell me different. Got anything on you? Oh, it's the doll again. Or puppet. This is going to explode. I need to put out the fire. Oh, what was your first idea of that? Are you, are you just gonna... <laughs> you know what? Whatever. What is this? needs a Demon cough drop like sacrifice. really damn bad please can you open the gates mister dude guys uh, mister can you what's going on here they're acting like I wouldn't be here well then hello mr. bunny rabbit you actually think I'm gonna follow you now nah, you're a trap I'm going this way <laughs> I'm going back to the mansion because this thing looks very calming a good old fashioned church. <laughs> These lines are gonna do something to me. Not no. Of course, I gotta go follow the fucking rabbit. Of, of course. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's go see what goes down in the rabbit hole. I'm great. I'm happy that there are subtitles. Damn, 
Damn rabbit, why are you so thick, bud? Down the rabbit hole, of course, we're gonna use this meme. I dare to come out, you little shit. <laughs> Ah, got his ass. Literally, because that's exactly where he just faced it towards me. <laughs> now that I have the demon, I can finally enter the church. Um, the rabbit was a demon. Wow, I remember what button it was. What happens if I just step on the bridge and this happens? No, it just, bon it just bonks me off? Okay, cool. Hey, is that the church? I guess so. First, it doesn't look like a church to I me, but... I thought a lot about your dedication. I sense something good residing within you. Are you... are you sure you're not misleading yourself, right? <laughs> me good? Have you seen the things I've done? <laughs> oh. A hand popped up just for like a second and now it's gone. Okay, cool. Do not make the mistake of supposing that the little world you see around you, the earth, which is mere grain of dust in the universe. The universe itself. There are millions upon millions of such worlds greater and there are millions of millions of such universe existing in the... Okay, yeah. I mean, that's kind of true. I mean, we all know this, though. <laughs> okay. The tree works miracles when it's fed the r rarest materials. Perhaps even you'd see it working... Life giving miracles, you yeah. So just put the rabbit in there? Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Oh no, okay, so it wants actual materials. Oh, what? Huh? There's no jump buttons, why would you throw me back? Wait, that. I'm confused. Whatever. This <laughs> is of the sun. You bring down upon us the light of God by using three lens. One for hope, love, gratitude, and faith. Okay, I don't know, it's going to be one of those annoying things. Okay, so this is also missing something too. There we go. Does it have to be like way sharper? So what are we missing? What's over here? We must take all precious kind of and uh, matches. So I'm guessing we need to light it. Oxygen. You followed the ways of the wolf habits of tigers. The rather aren't me. These give me no hint of what's going on. <laughs> they're, they're just things to be read. Oh. The crystal seems to be alive. Okay, so here's the material that we're supposed to be using. It seems that the doors are being held shut by some mystical force. force. I always kept a watchful eye on the great laboratory. 
When there were no more children left to play inside the laboratory, I closed the altar and buried the key. Whomsoever wishes to enter needs to create a new key from Eucharistic tears, essence of earth, and tincture of the sun. Then they must find my cave and forge it inside the Athenor. Oh my. Yeah, find his cave. Okay, I kind of get it. Kind of. I still feel like I'm missing something else. Ah, okay. Okay, there we go. Hydrogen. H2O, but it's like backwards H2O, and this is, no, I just basically put in hydrogen for the first one, and just spelled H2O backwards. Okay, so we got that now, we poured inside of here, no. Oh. Okay, so here's the crystal. There we go. Easy. <laughs> okay. So now we push this. How can this be possible? You're questioning all of this versus everything else what you've a seen? What peculiar planet. People grow 5,000 roses in one garden, yet they don't find what they're looking for. What they're looking could be found in a single rose or a little water. I can rise above the earth and watch everything moving in this universe. Now is your time. Wow, okay. Well then. Oh, okay, we're getting this now. Be the essence of Earth. So we still need to figure out what's going on over here. Okay, so those are done. Can't touch anything else here except for we're missing an item. Where could the last item be? Back here? Nope. Is it on a wall somewhere? We also can't go back outside either. So we're... So I know it's in here. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Ah. Huh. So that's what we're missing. I don't remember candles creating, like, light that just turns into, you know, a... here I am being puzzled by things that this don't make any sense. Look. Now, David, where can I find Elder Joseph? I need to forge this key. Elder Joseph lives not far from here, but his cave is hidden. 
I will help you find it. Outside, you will find that I have arranged a sleigh for you. I always loved the winter. Well, I don't want the winter. I want the spring, so it better still be a winter one. Oh, okay. Uh, I just go fuck myself then. Literally has to be winter. Okay, fine. Fine. Have it your way, Joseph. Have it your way. What? No Rudolph? Ah. What a discount slave. <laughs> Can I? Okay, there we go. Alright, I wasn't expecting I us to turn world. into Santa. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Who? Who are you? I am his father. Santa. We will be at your side until the end of times. Alright, guys. I can hop back in. Oh, okay. It it takes me back. Okay, I wasn't sure what it would do. Can I go back, dude? You turn, you turn, you turn, guys. God damn it! Uh, all right. <laughs> yes, I'm stuck into this ride. All right. Curiosity, turn off. All right, dude. I have no idea what that says. I'm not even gonna try and say any of it I'm good so this is uh that's what we're supposed to be using are you sure this guy isn't dead because <laughs> I cannot use my oh okay that answers my question <laughs> He's, he's definitely dead. I was about to say, I can't use my little, uh... Changing thing. Can't make it winter anymore. Did you add the ingredients? Did you turn on the furnace? No, you did not. Wait. Oh, I was about to say, how the hell did you turn it on? We don't even have the stuff we need. <laughs> My son, unfortunately, if you are reading this, it means I am no longer of this earth. Now that you have brought the world's rarest treasures from the temple, you need to mix them inside a simple jug. Put everything inside the ethanol, then light a fire. You will need my bones for this to task. You are wondering why? Yeah. Because alchemy works with the very essence of God's creation. Oh, uh, so you've May been using God humans, Father. Father, I have some questions for you when it comes to that. This is it. Wow. Now that I hold this key, I feel as though I'm one step closer to finding the truth. Indeed. I mean First off, I'm that afraid key the truth could either elevate me to down the extremely God, quickly or destroy my very being. I'll say you up, Father. All right, dude. I'm gonna close the door. I'm gonna leave you here. What? No, I don't. I don't sell stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> don't ask again, Father. Especially when you use bones. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> I wanted to see if I can get stuck between them. That time you didn't bump me off. Alright, back to the little church. So we can just put in the key, of course.
Hmm. Neat. God, God damn it. More puzzles, of course. You are haunted by seven demons. I'm afraid the cruel and early embrace of death has greeted them unbaptized. You need to place their hearts on this altar to put uh -huh. them to rest. I also need the skull of a saint. I advise you to search for a book of rituals in your library. Uh -huh. It will help you when you have to face them. Seven hearts it's and what? the skull of a saint? Uh, huh? Okay. I whatever. should search for clues in my library. I also have a special book there, Eastern Rituals for Banishing the Devil. Years ago, I travelled to Transylvania. There, the townsfolk had a peculiar way of dealing with the ghosts of unbaptized children. They would take the body out of its tomb and bring it to the crossroads. Then, they would drive a wooden stake through its heart. Others would perform even more terrifying acts. The exorcism was a mistake. Now I can clearly see. David was not possessed. That was only in my mind. He would often ramble about mysticism, about after death, about eternity, about things I couldn't comprehend at that time. I took this as a sign of demonic possession. What child in the world speaks Hebrew at such an early age? He would preach the gospel to the children from the orphanage. He would then go to church in the middle of the night and would stay there, crying for hours and hours. I followed him one night. He kept on praying, God have mercy on me, oh God have mercy on me. I thought that he needed help, that he was tormented by demons. I never considered that those could have been signs of his holiness. Okay. <laughs> yeah, alright. So this game is quite something. So now we gotta go check our library. Then we gotta go up against seven demons. And get the skull of a thing. Okay. I don't like how that one's looking at me. Any of you, any of you demons up here know where the fucking library is? <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey. The fuck? Yo, uh, you want to tell me what these fucking insects are? Of course it's her again. Like, what's your beef with me? Ah. Oh. I, I already know you're going to disappear somewhere. Oh, they're locusts, okay. Hey, you wanna help me out here? These guys seem very hostile. Interesting.
Now it's probably not nice to say I would burn the shit out of that, but I would mm, burn the, the shit out of that. The only thing I kept after I renounced the darkness of my thoughts and converted. Huh? I'm not sure why, but it makes me think of my earlier beliefs and how I've changed. As though there were two of us in one body, a pure and an evil side. What? Okay. You're... No, I'm not gonna question it. Not gonna say anything. Not gonna question it. Okay, what are we going back here for? Is it the skull of the saint, or is it the crap we need for a demon? I was thinking it was gonna be the ritual knife. But yeah, I forgot I'm looking for that book. <laughs> All these are just death of God. <laughs> A whole bunch of atheists in here. <laughs> that, that's all I see. Oh. oh, she's definitely gonna beat my ass, that's for sure. Probably doesn't approve of me killing her poor locusts. Don't hurt me, okay? They started this war and now they die. over here somewhere near her. All I gotta do is look for the book that isn't just death of God. <laughs> I don't think I want that considering that the locusts are all over it. Huh. So far, I do not see it. Is this? Why do you just pick that up at first then? So this is how the ghosts of the unbaptized children want to drive me mad? You stand no chance, Satan. I believe in God and he is my savior. Do you hear me? Oh, wait, hold on, excuse me? Did that just... That's, okay, sure. <laughs> sure. Could this mean that the seven missing children are in fact victims of cholera? I knew I couldn't be guilty. I'll call the radio station right now. They deserve to know the truth before it's too late. Let me guess, she's behind me again? Oh, no, it's a scooter this time. Good evening, sir. Good evening, caller. This is Father Abraham Marcus from St. Mary's. That is it. Lord heavens, the killer priest, the child murderer himself? Silence your lying tongue. You know as well as I do that those children didn't go missing. They died of cholera. Stop turning people against me with false claims. Why are you all trying to crucify me by connecting me to their deaths? Father, Father, please, listen. We don't care if you killed them or not. We're particularly interested in that poor little altar boy, David. What do you do with him? Hmm? 
Please hmm. do tell. <laughs> Enough of this madness. They're acting like demons as well, like wild beasts. I shall linger no more. The ritual book, where is it? Huh, I don't know. Maybe it's somewhere in here. <laughs> Who knows? You tell me. The ritual book, be. Now oh, somebody's partying in here. Do you know where the ritual book is? You're not gonna help me, are you? No? I didn't think so, really. <laughs> I kinda figured... <laughs> thanks for the boat of confidence, bro. <laughs> hey, dude. Shit. Appreciate you trying, at least. Hey. You got the book on you? Oh, you got something on you, guys. <laughs> I say I would hate to keep going through these just because I feel like it shouldn't be on the shelves. Oh wait, hold on. One night, when the northern lights could be seen clearly in the night sky, I took this dagger and slit the throat of a lamb. A memory I am ashamed of now. Okay, well, okay, that that was kind of weird to grab, considering that it didn't really pop up. When I got to release poor Mr. Spider? Like, what the fuck, dude? How could you? So we got the ritual knife. I... I hope that this isn't the ritual book. <laughs> I'm really hoping it isn't, because if it is, we're fucked. Scare me. Do you understand? I'm a mere object. What harm would I bring? I know where I can find the book, but for this you must sign the blood back on the shelf right here. I was to say, my man was talking all that shit, then he went into like a fucking the name of the combat father, stance. The Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is not what I asked of you. I knew you were fucking evil. You deserve every last bit of it. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> oh. On the table. Okay, okay, okay. On the glass case. This is evil. I already know it's leading me into a jump scare or a trap. I can already feel it. Clever way. Clever way of doing it, that's for sure. In my hand? Oh. Damn, son! Maybe I'm the key. It's <laughs> literally, it's <laughs> of course. That's uh, that's gnarly. It's <laughs> pretty fucking metal, dude. <laughs> now I should go down to the crypt. I hope the gate to the old cemetery is open. Hey, no. All right, all right, dude. You stay right there. I knew he's fucking evil.
Welcome. This place was my home for a long time. We are holding a tea party on the nearby island. We can't start until everyone is present. My brother Alexander was left behind locked inside his bedroom. Can you open the doors and call him? Of course. No. <laughs> God damn it. I don't trust you. Get, a, get the fuck away from me. You have a very muscular face. I want nothing to do with you kids. Fuck off. This is why I don't have kids of my own. And this is go away. Get the fuck away from me, dude. <laughs> Little fucking ghost kids. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta find a way to get him out of there. Hello? Al what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Alright, good. Alright, dude. <laughs> My god, this place, it's alive. All grown ups were once children, but only few of them remember it. I see. Well, that's a pretty neat effect. I like that. Dear Mom, Thank you for visiting me every week and bringing me apple pies. Alexander is not feeling well these days, but he will regain his strength. Today we discovered a new formula that can bring back to life any dead flowers. Can you believe it? I love you, Mom. Ah, How precious. What are we cooking over here? That's the more important question. Like some good stew going on. Of course, you're asking Today, you something special happened. A woman and her husband came to the orphanage looking to adopt a child. She was very beautiful, with long, dark hair. And he was tall and charming. They both looked like wealthy people. The monks gave them David, the wisest child in the orphanage. So I'm guessing that's David. I mean, he is separate from everybody else in my inventory over there to the right. A oh okay. That's Alexander. Do I really have to collect all the kids, dude. <laughs> I don't want to. They all look very evil. They all tried to follow me too. I think they're about to get hungry. You know this isn't funny. It's just a game. Go ahead. I mean, it is true. No. Ah. Huh? It seems you're beginning to understand. It was just another test. Now you need to find seven toys and bring them to me. In exchange, I will give you the names of the seven children you need to find. The dolls are all scattered inside the house. Oh, okay. Oh, that's five. <laughs> Okay, well then. They're all scattered inside the house, huh? Oh. Okay, I thought I could go in there. Considering just let me step over all this. There's probably a sneaky doll hiding somewhere. Hear that or they're outside. You know, this is the next level of a key finding game, but not as bad as the Dark Occult. Or the Conjuring House is what it used to be called. Until they changed it. Just because of copyright. The Dark Occult was actually pretty decent, but it's a 
fucking headache. <laughs> Especially searching for keys and shit like that. That that was that was annoying. I say if you guys want to watch that series that I did, it is pretty long. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? And it is up on this channel. Okay, so we're missing one more. Am I sure she's not outside? No, I'm not sure. I mean, they did, did say they was scattered around the house. Didn't say if she was outside or not. Okay. Well... This, oh, there's a tree house. What the fuck? I want to go there. What are you looking at, crow? Nothing? Okay, buddy. You, you enjoy yourself, okay? Okay, so it's not outside. Definitely in here hiding somewhere. Little damn hiding seek champions. I was hoping that would be it, but nope, it's not. Dear Mom, this is the first letter I am writing to you. I am so happy here. I would never live this place. I am always playing with the other children. Yesterday, we found a new magic formula that can change the color of the flowers. I love you, Mom. Okay. But that's another letter. I still haven't found the last kid, though. Because there is seven, right? Are we counting, David? Because I didn't see another kid in here. Unless they're pro hide and go seek. I mean, shit, they're the last one. They win by default. It's one of those. I was hoping that would be the last kid, but nope, it is not. Okay. Well, at least we found one of those achievement, you know? <laughs> Alright. Back in we go. Okay. Oh my god, it was inside of the fucking stove. Are you kidding me? Are you actually freaking kidding me? I'm actually kind of pissed. I was just sitting here like, dude, what the heck? And the stove of all things? Did you miss anything in here? I forgot what we were supposed to do now, considering that took me quite a while. What's over here? Is this somewhere I can go? No. That looks pretty epic over there. How's this, this boat that we're going to? I will tell Are we you literally the truth rowing with these things? Alexander died. David and Alexander never had a chance to play together as children. Yes, do. we are. Years ago, before meeting you, they lived at the Little Prince Orphanage in Romania. Then there was an outbreak of cholera. All the orphans were vaccinated with only two syringes. One of those was unsterilized. 
and it happened to be the one used on poor Alexander. David was spared. Oh. We pass through time like wafted leaves in the wind. I will forever keep Alexander in my heart. Okay. The Chosen. <laughs> <laughs> Like you got, you got something back there for me, but okay. Image, I am of your unutterable glory, though I bear the scars of my sins. O Lord, who watches over children in the present life and in the world to come, because of their simplicity and innocence of mind, abundantly satisfying them with a place in heaven bringing them to live in radiantly shining places where the spirits of the righteous dwell. Am I done yet? Oh. Of course they get the little tiny kid to do it. But then again, he's strong again, plus he just split that coffin like it was nothing. Off and top, at least. <laughs> Look, I'm helping. There are three of you. We are Trinity, for they are Legion. See. Puzzle pieces. Oh, why? Why? Why I gotta go back here? Where am I? Oh, okay. I just came out of the library. Now, where do I go? Do I go over here? No, it doesn't seem like it. We must go to the next open room. Which that's going to be on probably the next episode. <laughs> huh? You, you good, bro? Why did you become a priest? Because of my love for God. So he just fall on a butterfly? Yeah. You dare speak of love? What about your love for me? You don't understand. This is about something greater than myself. You know, I was going to go ahead and stop this episode here, but apparently this butterfly has something really important to tell me. Leave me alone. Please. Please. <laughs> Bay. Don't go. I don't even think she knows where she's going. Stop. Leave me alone. Yeah, dude. Jeez. Leave her alone. <laughs> she really wants to be alone. We're making this really known right now. Please, don't do it. Wait, where is he? Please. 
Where are you taking me, little butterfly? I guess this is the saint skull we need but we're gonna do that as the last episode which I, I guess this game really isn't all that long does isn't as long as I thought I guess it really just depends on like how fast you are or how lucky you get with searching everything the first time you ever play but yeah we're gonna we're gonna finish it up tomorrow I would say it, it probably won't take that long it'll probably like probably a 30 or 15 minute thing probably something like really short just to sum it up but yeah with that said hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next one until then peace out